we've CNC'd some wood, and we've also used the laser. I see we're on a different machine here, and we've got a big chunk of metal in there. What's, what's going <laughs> yeah. on? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yes, the machine is, is a little bit different than what we used earlier today. This is actually our Elite Series. Okay. Um, so the Elite Series is available in two different sizes. Uh, you know, and, and to put it simply, obviously, it's a little taller in the gantry, which allows for a slightly larger piece of material. Mm -hmm. But the real significance here is that this is a servo-driven machine. So the servo motors allow for a higher speed, you know, feed rate uh, limit, as well as a higher torque so that we can more easily work with those heavier, thicker, harder materials. This is much more on the manufacturing side of things, sure. and that's what its intention was for. Um, and as you, you mentioned, you know, we're working with a piece of metal here. This is actually a 6061 aluminum. And it's really important to note that a CNC machine uh, can be used for a very large range of materials, everything from plastics and acrylics to non-ferrous metals and, you know, in this case, the aluminum. Mm -hmm. the, the real trick there is to make sure that you're using the proper bit. So this material is actually being used to machine this bracket. And the bracket itself is just something that we're using in-house for a project. But, you know, when we cut those, we may need one, two, or 20. Sure. Um, so th the beauty of the Vectric software and this coming in a sheet material is that we can tab the parts, we can cut them out and, and nest them in large quantities. And, you know, as we mentioned, the, the Vectric software, this design is created just like we did our signs and any other wood part. But because we're using an aluminum specific bit, we kind of have to treat it differently. You know, with mm -hmm. the wood, we might take it in all one pass or just a few shallow passes. In this case, harder material, we're actually gonna take this in 10 thousandths of an inch per pass at a slightly slower feed rate and a dialed down RPM to prevent any melting. Now, our origin's already placed. Mm -hmm. um, everything's set up, so we can actually get started if you're ready. Let's cut some metal. Awesome. As you can see, it's really quite simple. If it can be cut dry without needing a lubricant, many different materials can be machined with the Axiom Precision CNC routers.